Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. It is just a typical day for me. I pulled out all my shipping last night and for those of you new here, I sell on eBay and Amazon part-time while being a mom to my soon to be three boys, my two older boys are home for the summer so we are figuring it out as we go. Let's just say that. I did have a goal to get all my shipping done the night before but all I had the energy to do last night was pull it and not get it shipped. So we're gonna go ahead and ship this today. I have already taken my walk. One of the other goals that I had that I have tried to manifest is that I would love to get all my listings at least photographed and all my shipping done before I go on my morning walk and before I really start my day with my kids. But that's only happened a few times. <laughs> I have found that it is really hard right now to get up that early, especially I'm just so fatigued right now. I am seven months pregnant with my third boy. So I'm really tired right now and it's really hard to get up and get going for the day that early. So it's gonna be a habit I'm gonna try to get into still for the summer, but uh, we'll see. But still, I got my morning walk in with my sweet friend. We walk three times a week together and she's so sweet to put up with me. She's been my running partner forever and now we walk. <laughs> but it's been really good. So my walk is done for the day. I am here, I got ready real quick and now I'm going to ship all of this stuff. And maybe I can show you some of the things that sold while I'm shipping. And my boys right now, I'm sneaking in some time to work because my boys are supposed to be cleaning the basement. I will be updating you on its progress later because <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna do it. Sometimes it takes them a minute to get going on chores I ask them to do, so. I'm gonna get my shipping done, get my photographing done, and come down and surprise them and see if they actually did it. So you guys can join me with that. Okay, I had to switch to my phone because my camera battery was dying, of course. I'm so good at planning ahead, you guys. Anyway, here's what has sold. Let me show you guys. I mentioned this in a previous video. These are some Revice denim shorts, cutoff shorts. These sold for $20 plus $6 shipping. These are some men's Lululemon ABC joggers. They are the tall. They have a 32 inch inseam, which is the taller version. These sold for $100, uh, just about, because again, that taller inseam is hard to find and they did sell in just one day. So something to look out for, for sure. If you get the taller inseam, that sells faster. Speaking of Lululemon, don't mind, don't mind this mess. Um, this is a Lululemon vest. I got this at the yard sale that I filmed a couple weeks ago from my friend. This sold for $40 uh, and it sold in just a couple weeks. So a good flip for sure. These are some Nike um, JDI slides. I have quite a few of these and they sold for $30. They're selling pretty well, especially now, of course, since it's summer. A couple of Nike shoes. These are just some very Basic Nike Phantom cleats. Cleats don't always sell very well for me, usually around what these sold for, $40 plus $10 shipping, but these sold for quite a bit. These are the Nike Air Vapor Max Plus. These are going off to the authenticator. They are of course real, but these sold for just about $200 including shipping. So they will go off to the authenticator and then they will be shipped off to the customer. And last but not least, I have this North Face, this is called the North Face Coordinates Tee. It's got like these coordinate graphic prints on it. It's long sleeve. This sold for, I believe $28 plus shipping and this sold overnight. So it was a really fast flip. I'm getting more listings up. I have all of these listings here that I have photographed that I now need to put away, which is just fine. Um, it shouldn't take me very long to do. What I, I'll just, when I'm at this step, I will show you guys how I do it and how I put my inventory away. It's pretty fast and is a pretty efficient way to organize my items without making it take forever. I'm getting some help from, oops. Oh, sorry. I'm getting some help from a little helper. It's okay, I can print it again. Um, Here, ready? So remember, you pull down. You gotta pull down? down. I thought, you pull I down you pull to get it up. No, yeah, you pull down. Let's try that again. Mom, it weighs, weighs that? Yeah, about 11, I rounded up, so it's 11 ounces. Down, down, good. My first time ever getting it. Okay, now get the label on. Don't get any wrinkles on it. Try to put it on the flat part. That's good. All right, let's do the next one. Down, pull it down. I, I didn't rip the sticker though. Take one corner. It's okay. Take one corner and yank it. 
Good. That's better. Um, but I'm flatly trying not to get any wrinkles. Ooh, that's fine. Mom, did I do the best? You both did a great job. You go for me, Calvin. Thank you, Graham. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And then we're going to put that in the car. Hey, Calvin. Let's put it in the car. Yeah, go put it in the car, guys. Calvin, lift it up. Thank you. You can put it in the trunk, okay? Can you put it in the trunk? Okay. <laughs> They actually did clean the basement, I will show you. Well, I haven't checked. They said they did. Um, clearly you can see why I do prefer getting things done before they are like awake and active because they're so cute, but a little bit distracting when I'm trying to do work, but they did help. Um, and I also forgot to do package pickup today. So, which is probably a good thing because I'm gonna stop by the post office. I need to check my PO box anyway. So it's actually probably a good thing. I'll stop by, drop that off, check my PO box, take the kids to an activity, and then figure out the rest of our day from there. But I, I do hope I can just quickly, for the next 10 minutes, get a few more pictures up. I'm almost done listing all of these. I have a few photographs on my phone I can do while we're out and about, but I'm hoping that I can list a few more things. So I'm gonna just take the next 10 minutes, take some pictures, and I have a lot of multi-quantity with one of my items, and it's a Mickey Mouse Levi's collab tee. And I think they're all about the same size too. So I'm gonna take a picture and kind of cheat my way to getting to all the listings that I need to list today. I do get asked how often or how much I list. It's usually 10 to 20 listings a day. And uh, I was out of the habit for about a week there, but back in the habit and I'm seeing a lot of great sales because of it. So when in doubt, get your listings up. It is the fastest way to get some sales in your store for sure. Cool. Oh my gosh, did you guys clean it? It looks so good. Calvin, thank you. Both of you, thank you. And you folded the blanket. High five. Does this mean we should go somewhere fun? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you guys good? Yeah. No ramp. No ramp. Thanks, Graham and Cal. Good helpers. Yeah, well, I'll just put a couple in each time and then push it up. So that doesn't get, yeah. Make sure it's gone. Good. Hey, Mom, I can sleep in the house. Daddy, eat some. Can I do the hard one? Oh. You guys having fun? Yeah. Getting all that energy out? Good, good. Okay, you stealing my water? Okay, it's now evening. <laughs> the day got away from me after we went to that fun place with my kids. We went to Costco and did some errands, had dinner all that family stuff and then now my kids are in bed and I'm just gonna quickly put my stuff away that I mentioned to you guys you know all the stuff over here I have to put away file away in my inventory system I was able to get those multi quantity listings up and a few other listings up today so I'm gonna count it as my 10 to 15 items and call it good uh, days do get away from me especially with the kids home, but that's okay because it's summer and this is what I expect. And again, every time this happens and I end up having stuff to do in the evening, it's just a really good reminder that, Ash, this is why we do things in the morning <laughs> before kids get up, before things get chaotic because otherwise the day gets away and then I get really tired at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys. I pull out a couple of my bins that have some room in them and I'm just gonna go one by one into the computer, find the item that I have listed, and just quickly put in the column which inventory bin it's in. This one, you can see here I've got B12 and B8, so I will do that. So you can see here I'll put Lululemon, I will find the purple leggings that I just listed. Like, I, these are the ones, they do not have a skew. A lot of these don't have a skew because I did just list them. And I will just put right in here, see where you can edit right here, I will just put in B12. And then I will submit it and then that's it. So once I go through all of my items, like here I have a ton of lemon, so I will just go through B12 for all of them. And it really doesn't take me very long, probably five, 10 minutes tops. Okay, and that just about does it for me today, you guys. You were just able to get another snippet into my day. You know, I don't know how interesting these are for you, but I do try to take you along and show you the process and that it really is doable. I mean, my kids are much older. That's one thing I wish I could reiterate again and again. They are older now, they are more independent, they don't need me every second. They can entertain themselves with Legos, with drawing, reading, a, a movie, you know, a number of things. They can 
do a lot on their own. Whereas when they were really little, they needed me for everything. So if you have really little ones at home, you know, in the preschool infant age, and you're not getting a ton done, and you're like beating yourself up. I used to do this, <laughs> I don't know why. Please, please don't, because it is a completely different game at this point, completely different. When your kids can be in another room and you're confident that they won't hurt themselves, then the next phase of motherhood starts, and that's really true. My kids can do a lot, and they're much more independent now, and it's really nice, it's really fun. I'm really enjoying this phase. <laughs> I'll be back in the infant phase, very soon so I guess I'll just enjoy this while I can but please don't compare yourself to me and I, like I said you know I've, I've taken days off here and there where I just have not had the time or the energy to tackle my business and that's okay too um, this summer might be a little sporadic and that's okay sales have still been good I'm still really happy with how things are going I'm hoping that I can just maintain momentum until the end of summer and then we'll see what happens from there. Thanks again for tuning in, you guys. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I just love our little YouTube family that we have here. I really appreciate your comments. Leave them down below. Tell me how your day goes, what your routine looks like, especially moms or dads with kids home for the summer. Tell me how that's going. Maybe we can strategize and set up routines together because it is, it's a challenge, but it is also really fun. As always, take care and I will catch you next time.